What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm bringing you guys a quick mission guide for the mission Caved In, the final Tier 4 mission for White Lotus. The reason I'm doing this is I did put it in my mission guide. However, at the time it was bugged, it has since been, then been fixed. So I wanted to cover it again for those of you that are looking to try to complete this. And I'll give you guys a few tips and tricks to make it a little bit easier along the way. If you guys do enjoy this video at any time or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Go and throw an easy goal of 100 likes on today's video as well as if you'd like to find a way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you do hit the subscribe button onto that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now, before you actually go for the caved in mission itself, once you get in or infill, I definitely recommend if you do not have three plates or two plates, you guys loot around to grab those. Medium or large backpacks are nice as well. But the most important part to this is just make sure you get a little bit of money. Go hit your local or closest buy station or shop. The way you guys can load up on some plates because it's very nice to have for these specific types of missions because you don't want to die and have to do these things all over. It just kind of gets a little bit more frustrating. So definitely spend some time getting yourself some plates, gearing yourself up a little bit. That way it'll be a lot easier. Now part one's asking for you to enter the Riverside Caves and Satik Caves by boat. Now the caves are in that center river. I will of course show you guys the location on the map. If you guys get here any other way than by boat, this part will not be checked off. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you grab a rib or even the patrol boat and you're gonna to wanna to sail towards that direction. Now, the second part of this is asking you to loot and extract the smuggling records in the Riverside Caves and Satik Caves. Now, before you actually go for part two, which is pretty straightforward, it's just gonna be locating those specific records and picking them up on the ground once you go to the actual caves. But there is something you're gonna need before you even go to the cave. So I definitely recommend do, going and doing the Destroy Supplies contract. And once you complete the Destroy Supplies contract, it will obviously show you guys on the map where some safes are located. Hopefully it'll get show you guys three to five because there is some RNG involved. And it is possible you look through all five and do not find what you need. What you're gonna be looking for are these sensitive documents. The best place to find these, at least in my experience, was by looking through the safes. But so I definitely recommend taking that route by completing that Destroy Supplies contract, then going hitting as many safes as possible. Hopefully you guys will get it in the first two or three safes that you look in. Maybe you guys will get unlucky like me where you'll have a couple of matches where you look through like three to five and don't find anything at all. But again, once I actually was able to get my hands on the sensitive documents, I got it within the first one or two safes that I looked in during that match. Once you have the sensitive documents, then you can actually go and revisit part two, which again asks you to loot and extract the smuggling records in the Riverside Caves and Sati Caves. So once you get to part three, which is asking you to place the sensitive documents at the original location of the smuggling records in the same deployment, you guys will have those sensitive documents available and can actually swap them out immediately. This is actually important to do. And obviously, if you guys are unable to find them, there's not going to be any point in making your way towards the Sati Caves in that run. And you want to just kind of exfil and re go for it again and hope that you get that luck by finding those sensitive documents. Once you have the sensitive documents, you can basically tell yourself, you know what, we have what we need to do this, and you guys can actually go and complete the caved in mission. Now, once you go into the actual cave itself, there are some AI here, but it isn't super overwhelming. Should be pretty easy to clear out. You'll go in the little building, you'll find the smuggling records on the ground. You'll just pick these guys up and then you'll see an interact option for you to actually place those sensitive documents down. You'll place those guys down, but you won't be out of the woods yet. You will obviously have to then Find your closest exfil and then exfil safely. If you want to know the safest way to exfil safely, you either want to do a rescue hostage contract, which then allows you to exfil with the hostage, and that's pretty much off the radar. Or you can go for the final exfil, which tends to be a little less hot or aggressive than some of the other exfils on the map. And the cool thing is you guys can actually use that kill squad contract trick, which if you look at the map and you see a kill squad contract, that means there is another squad still available or at least alive on the map. You guys don't see these then you know you're the only one left and typically on those final x fills that will be the case hopefully with some of these tips it will make it a little bit easier for you thankfully this is no longer bugged and you guys will be able to complete this mission allowing you guys to unlock tier five thank you guys for all, all the support in today's video all the support in the channel and i look forward to seeing y'all in the next one peace